The mysteries of UFOs and aliens have always been an intriguing one. From UFO sightings to alien encounters, this topic has generated a great deal of curiosity among UFO and alien enthusiasts and researchers. But this video is special, as it is not only about those who are trying to find an answer, but those who already came face to face with them. And by those, I meant not some random people, but the Queen of England and her royal family themselves. Stay tuned till the end, because in this video we will show you how the Queen's demise is unraveling the eyewitnesses and secrets of UFO sightings and aliens. So, let's begin with a few remarkable incidents of the Royal X-Files. During their study from June 1951, the committee came to the conclusion that UFO encounters might be accounted for by either mistaken identifications, hoaxes, or delusions. It was suggested that none of the available resources from the government can be used any further in the investigation. But next year, members of the Royal Air Force and other branches of the military reported seeing UFOs while participating in a NATO exercise. These unidentified flying objects looked to be capable of traveling at amazing speeds and executing complex maneuvers, and some of them were detected by military radar. By 1953, the Ministry of Defense had reached the conclusion that each and every UFO allegation required an investigation. However, this is not because we are worried about these little green men. It is important to keep in mind that the term UFO refers to any flying object whose identity is unknown. It does not necessarily refer to an extraterrestrial craft. Even though the investigations were conducted with the intention of discovering whether there was any indication of a threat, the British government were more concerned about the Russians than the Martians. It was hypothesized that some of the sightings could have been caused by Soviet bombers or spy planes that were testing the air defenses, in an effort to determine how well the aircraft, radar systems, and pilots were performing. The viewpoint of the British government was almost similar to that of the United States government. In the United States, the U.S. Air Force had been investigating UFO sightings since 1947 as part of a program that would later became known as the Project Blue Book. Even though the Defense Ministry didn't want to be seen as looking for aliens, that's what happened because of popular culture. Over the course of several decades, several works of fiction, motion pictures, and other forms of media have made the phrase extraterrestrial spaceship synonymous with the term UFO. Many people held the belief that governments were hiding the facts regarding UFOs. People began to believe that it has been a part of a vast conspiracy as a result of this. In addition to the fact that the Defense Ministry has always been an organization that has maintained a high level of secrecy. Even if the Defense Ministry played down the genuine level of its interest and involvement in the topic, people are afraid if there aren't any crashed UFOs stashed away anywhere in the country. That doesn't suggest that the Royal X-Files don't have any mysteries that are very intriguing though. Approximately 500 of the 12,000 sightings that were looked into by the program could not be explained in any way. Most of the interesting cases includes in which law enforcement officers, members of the armed forces, or pilots reported seeing unidentified flying objects, particularly if there was some form of corroborating evidence, such as radar evidence or photographs and films that could be examined by the technical staff. The Rendlesham Forest incident is the name given to a series of well-known UFO sightings in the United Kingdom that occurred over the course of three consecutive days in December 1980. UFOs were spotted in the area surrounding the Bentwaters and Woodbridge air bases, and one of them appeared to have landed in the woodland nearby at one time. According to the findings of the Defense Ministry, radiation levels near the site of the landing appear to be much higher than the typical background. Investigations conducted independently by the Ministry of Defense and the United States Air Force, among which both Bentwaters and Woodbridge were U.S. facilities, came to no conclusions. On 30 and 31 March, 1993, an additional intriguing incident that is commonly referred to as the Cosford Incident took place. Multiple reports of sightings poured in from different parts of the UK throughout the course of the previous night's first six hours. Eyewitnesses included military police at one airbase and also the meteorological officer at another airbase. The latter recounted witnessing a massive triangular-shaped object flying slowly over the base while generating a low-frequency humming sound. Suddenly, the craft accelerated away at a rate that was significantly faster than a military jet. The death of the Queen could spark the release of Royal X-Files. 
UFO enthusiasts believe that the government should make public over the 70 years' worth of research that her late husband, the Duke of Edinburgh, conducted on UFO encounters in Britain. After a bricklayer had a close encounter with extraterrestrial beings in 1955 at the home of Lord Lewis Mountbatten, who was Philip's uncle, he became obsessed with space and developed a fascination for extraterrestrial beings. Fred Briggs asserted that he was thrown off his bike by an unknown force as he watched a man coming out from a spacecraft while he was witnessing the event. The late Lord Mountbatten, who served as the former Chief of Defense Staff of the United Kingdom, shared the details of the event, with Philip at his house in Hampshire called Broadlands Estate. The prince spent a significant portion of the rest of his life investigating extraterrestrial beings, but analysts suggest that this information was covered up because it would have created a sensation. They are now claiming that it is almost certain that there will be requests to open up the files. Mick Pope, a former officer of the Ministry of Defense who worked as the head of the government's UFO department from 1991 to 1994, claimed that Philip along his ex raf buddy, Sir Peter Horsley, quietly researched reports of extraterrestrial encounters through the years. Pope held this position from 1991 to 1994. He stated that the royal family kept a close eye on developments, subscribed to UFO journals and bulletins, and had witnesses examined. He continued by saying, this is really delicate. As you can see, the Duke of Edinburgh is quite interested in extraterrestrial craft. If word had gotten out, it undoubtedly would have created quite an excitement. Mick told History TV in the United States that the event that took place on Philip's uncle's property piqued his interest in the topic. He added that Briggs claimed that he had seen a large ship before a humanoid person emerged and threw him off his bike. Briggs saw the ship before the figure appeared. The encounter was reported by Briggs to Lord Notbatten, who gave him an order to submit a witness statement and afterwards penned his own account of the event, which may be found above. According to historian Richard Dolan, Lord Mountbatten discussed the matter at length with Prince Philip, and he added, you had to presume that Queen Elizabeth was aware. According to Linda Moulton Howe, an investigative journalist Philip, with the assistance of his uncle, may have assembled research including practically everything which the UK government knew about UFOs stretching back seven decades. This information may have been included in the study. After he passed away at the age of 99 in April 2021, his files were never made public. After two months, the British defense officials refused to provide any information on extraterrestrials. It was asked to Baroness Annabel Goldie whether or not the United Kingdom's government will release details of its X-Files in the same way that the United States does. She stated that there are no reports on unusual aerial phenomena held by the Ministry of Defense. So, do you think that these hidden secrets of UFO sightings and aliens will be revealed soon? or it's still going to be unexposed. Let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed watching this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to be the first to watch our newly uploaded video. Thanks for watching guys, do check out these videos to get your mind blown.